Hello. Hello. It's crazy. So what's the teaspoon? Today is so sunny, I thought that I would come out in the garden. I haven't actually sat out here probably this year. Um, and I thought what I would do is I would just come, well, firstly, hello. I haven't said hello yet. I haven't done video in like three weeks, I think. I think it's been three Sundays, I think. In that time, I've put up lots of those short videos, um, which have been in like a series of like 25 pounds Audi shop, making five dinners for the week. And um, yeah, it would be great to know what you think of those. If you've enjoyed them, I just got, I kind of did them for Instagram and for TikTok and then thought I'd put them on my YouTube um, and see what you think. So let me know if you like them. And also, if you want to see the full written recipe, that's actually on Instagram, but um, I would put it on YouTube, but they don't give you enough space because they're just mean. So that's why it's not there. I'm not just depriving you um, if you've liked them and stuff. But yeah, hello. <laughs> so I've really missed doing videos, I must admit. Like, I love just chatting and showing you guys like my sort of shopping and cooking and all of this stuff. But I've just been so, so busy over the last few weeks. I was trying to think just now of what the stuff that has gone on since the last time I put up a video, which I think was the 17th of, what are we, May? It, April, yeah, 17th of April. Um, and like, for instance, I have been to Brighton in that time. I've had lots of medically things. And I thought I'd just go through some of those things and um, just give you a bit of an update if that's what you'd like, if that's the sort of thing you want to watch and want to listen to and want to watch me chat about, then this is the video for you. Also, the fact it's just sunny here, um, surely that's just a nice thing to watch the sun and it's, it's so glorious. It's so, so nice. The garden isn't looking that great at the moment, um, but hopefully, in the next week or so we can go and get some plants and we can do some weeding. I might do some weeding after this, which I don't think I'll film. Um, but yeah, so as I said, last weekend we went to Brighton. So this time last week we were in Brighton. The reason we went was because of something called Foodies Fest, which is like a food and drink and music kind of festival. Like the headline act on the day that I was there was Lee and Simon from Blue, which we didn't see them, but. I guess that's kind of cool um, and we love Brighton so it was so nice to be invited down to do some cooking demos and stuff in Brighton like to me that's a dream because I would if someone told me I could live there I'd live there in a second I, I love Brighton for so many reasons um, so we went down there last Sunday and I did a cooking demo or two cooking demos on Monday which was bank holiday and I baked some cookies I baked I made a pizza um, I met lots of you guys and it was just a bit overwhelming. There was so much like, there's so many people coming up to me and just saying hello. And I love that. I love it so much. Um, some of you bought my new book and I signed it and we had photos. It was, it was just a real good laugh. And I've got quite a few more of those coming up in the summer, sort of post me having my operation. So I've got some late June. I've got some stuff in July. I've got some stuff in August and September and probably beyond. So I'll, I don't know if I'll put a link or I'll put a list even below of some of the things that I'm doing over the course of the next few months. Either that or I'll I'll let you know as we go. But there's quite a few. I think the next few, there's late June, there's Chelmsford and Maidstone in Kent. So those will be good. And then we've got the Allergy and Free From show at the beginning of July, which should be really cool. And I'm there all three days. Um, that's at the XL, Becky XL at the XL um, in London. So that should be really, really fun. So yeah. Brighton was awesome. We walked to the beach, we were around Brighton, we saw lots of dogs that looked like Peggy, but Peggy wasn't with us, which was a shame, but she's not great in the car. Um, she's been down with us before, but we thought like, you know, I'm quite busy um, whilst we're there and we couldn't find an Airbnb that would take dogs. So she stayed with my parents and we just went down and enjoyed ourselves. Um, did I say we had an honest burger? Don't know if I did, but we had an honest burger while we were there, which was amazing. And not only did we do Foodies Fest, but the following day, just by chance, basically, one someone on my Instagram messaged me after I was talking about my BRCA stuff and my operation and said, this could be a good thing for you to do. Uh, why don't you do it? And kind of sent me a link to an account. And this account was someone called Lydia Reeves. And she does body casting. So, you know, doing casts of different parts of your body so she does boob castings so I looked at it and I was like that's really cool but I'll never be down in Brighton where she's based to have it done prior to my operation but it just so happened that the day after the foodies festival she had a slot free so I went down 
<laughs> and I had a boob casting, which hopefully I'll show some pictures on the screen now of it happening. Um, and basically I'm gonna get some really cool like cast, which she's gonna paint and make look awesome, which will remind me of my boobs when they're gone. <laughs> um, and I don't know, to me, it, it, was, it was just the coolest experience. Lydia was amazing. She was so lovely, so kind, um, so passionate about what she does. And honestly, whether or not you're having a massive operation like I am, whether you're, like I spoke to her and said, you know, what sort of people have, have boob castings done? And she said, you know, there's lots of people in my position, there's lots of people who've had breast cancer, um, but there's also people who just come, like she had a couple who came for their 60th birthday and just had it done for fun. Um, and I just thought that was amazing. And I, I so, like, it might seem weird if you've never thought about having it done before, but it was, it just felt really good to have it done. Like both the process felt good because you get all this silicon stuff stuck to you and then it peels off and that feels good. But actually like mentally, it felt really cool. Um, and I obviously in a few months time, I'll show you the cast, but uh, it takes about 12 weeks, I think. So by the time I get it, I won't have these, but <laughs> I'll have a cast. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I just, it was just such a cool experience. I don't know what color I'm gonna have it yet. Um, I've got some ideas, but I have a bit of time to think about that. But yeah, it was just the coolest thing and just such a nice way to end our trip to Brighton and sort of, uh, I guess, a final farewell to these. <laughs> um, as yeah, they're, they're going pretty soon now. I think from today, which is Sunday, I think it's like a week and a half. I think it's about 10 days or something till uh -uh, gone, um, which is actually, I mean, I said in previous videos that it's scary, but it didn't really feel real. Now it's starting to feel real. And that's, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> I've realized since my last video, I don't think I told you, I might've told you some of the stuff that was going on, but I haven't actually, I didn't film it. So one of the things I had done, I think a week after my last big video I put up was I had my final ever breast MRI scan, which I really don't like them. There's a few reasons I don't like them. I don't like the pain because you have to basically, basically you have to lie flat on your tummy and then your boobs have to hang through these holes and then you're pressed here and here really hard into, they're supposed to be soft, I think, but they're not. And then I get these really big marks. Um, and also they put contrast through your veins um, and then it makes you feel like you've wet yourself, which isn't very pleasant, but I'm glad it's done. I'm glad that within two days, I got a letter saying it came back all clear. And basically, as soon as that was done, it was basically, basically it was like, yeah, the operation is happening. Um, because before that, if something had come back wrong, then obviously my operation wouldn't have happened. Things would have had to change. It would have been really bad. Um, but that gave me basically the go ahead. I say basically because tomorrow is the final I think it's like the final sort of thing where something could go wrong or you know there could be a reason for the, the operation not to go ahead because tomorrow is my pre-op so I don't really know what that involves um, but I got a letter and it said it could take between one and four hours so you know Monday morning I usually am working but I might be working or I might be there for four hours I don't know so I think it's like blood tests um, maybe ECG, which I've had many of those in um, a previous life of mine um, and stuff like that, probably a COVID test. So there's lots of things I've got to have tomorrow morning. And I guess if they all come back clear and I guess they'll explain the procedure of me going into hospital because I haven't been, I've never been properly an inpatient, I don't think. I've been a day patient. When I was basically, when I was about 11, I had four teeth removed or two teeth, four teeth, I don't know, had some teeth removed and I had that under general anaesthetic, but I've never really had anything else. So this is quite a big thing. And I mean, the operation is pretty major. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot, but hopefully it'll be all right. Um, when I talk about it now, it makes me think how, how soon it is and how much of a strain I'm going to go through. And it's like, for me, it's not just such a big thing happening, but it, I know it's silly, but it will stop me doing my work and I'm quite a workaholic and I like to do stuff and I, I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, and uh, I've got a little friend. Hello, hello, hello. Peg's come to say hello. <laughs> How are you? You a good girl? Yeah, you wanna go and play? Oh, has she? 
Oh, I'm st it's still it's still recording, <laughs> but she's a, a nice visitor. Everyone likes Peggy. How are you doing? Everyone wants to know how you're getting on. Oh no! So next door, our next door neighbours have a cat, and um, Peg's obsessed with like looking at it out the window. <laughs> oh, right. Are you going to go back inside? Yeah. Yeah. Off you go. Nope. There we go. You can talk to the camera. No, nope. okay, whatever. <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't know. Um, oh, Bracasa. So before Peg rudely or very cutely interrupted, um, yeah, I was just saying how it's a lot to take in. Um, it's a lot that I'm going through. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check back at some of my previous videos because um, Basically, a very, very short overview. I don't like to go over it too many times, but I have something called BRCA2 gene mutation, which means I have like an 88% chance of getting breast cancer in my life and a whole host of other things later on. But the thing that I'm having to focus on now is these, um, and I'm having a double mastectomy reconstruction in 10 days time. And that's a lot for someone age 31 to go through, I guess. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions about it, do let me know, because I'm always open to answering questions. I feel like, I've personally found there wasn't much on the internet or from people's personal experiences about it so I want to share my personal experiences and also I'm going to try and do like a video not of the process like as in the procedure obviously because I'll be asleep but just like my sort of journey through it I mean I, I should be filming stuff for it now but I keep forgetting because there's life going on but I'm definitely going to try my best to um, and one thing that I do need to sort out prior to this happening really is that there are going to be some changes like in terms of what I can wear afterwards because recovery is quite lengthy well not too lengthy but it it I'll need to be wearing stuff that I can probably put on without putting stuff over my head because I don't think I'll be able to lift my arms so I need to get some more sort of buttoned up tops so any advice of good places to get summery nice clothes like that um, or any things that you'd recommend let me know also um, I will need to wear different bras for a while um, so any advice or tips on places to get them would be good easy clothes like lounge clothes because I think I'll be relaxing well not relaxing but I'll be recovering quite a lot so if you've got any tips on places to get that especially now it's sunny because I've got lots of wintry relaxing clothes but not summery stuff so any recommendations on that um, and also I'm gonna have to have some drains when I have um, this operation so I'm gonna have like two drains coming off me with fluids coming into them so I have to have something called a drain bag to carry my drain it's, it sounds horrible you'll see in a in a coming up video I'm sure um, but if anyone's got any basically anyone got any tips advice from people who have had double mastectomies operations anything or know someone let me know because I'm all new to this um, and I need it for myself but then hopefully I can help others in the future too. Anyway I think I've been waffling on for quite a long time. I mean I'm in quite a chatty mood because this morning or around lunchtime I was actually doing some live radio. I was on BBC Radio Berkshire um, just chatting for about 20-25 minutes about gluten free and it's celiac awareness week coming up so I was talking about that um, and my books and that was really really fun and I'm so nervous before I do it but then afterwards I just want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk so I've got other ones coming up this week as well um, I've got quite a few things coming up this week so if you just follow me on social you'll see I've got some like live chats um, some live events I've got like something with celiac UK tomorrow night where we're doing some fun things about 6 p.m. you can win some good prizes actually so definitely tune in it will be on Facebook um, and yeah I don't think I've got much else to say I am I'm sitting here actually and I was reading the BBC good food vegetarian summer um, I picked it up because I noticed that my recipes are in it. I didn't know about this. I, I feel like I should have been told, but um, there's some of my recipes in it. Obviously they are they have permission to put the recipes in there. My publisher sorts all that out. Um, but there are some, let me try and find them. There are some of my recipes from how to plan anything gluten free in there. Um, let's see, what else have we got? Yeah, like lots of cool pages. There's like six pages on my book, which is cool. But there's also tons of other recipes and like when it's coming up to summer, I think vegetarian food is lighter. We try and eat a lot more veggie these days anyway, um, but this has got loads of inspiration. So definitely one to pick up if you haven't got it, um, if you're in the UK and stuff, 
this I think I don't know how long this is out for if it's for a I think it's a summer edition so probably out for quite a while but you can get some of my recipes in here if you haven't got the planner already um, and if you do want to get the planner all the other two books how to make anything gluten-free how to bake anything gluten-free and then how to plan anything gluten-free um, I'll link them below because they're all really good prices on Amazon these days um, and I promise you they'll save you lots of time and hopefully make you happy when you're needing to bake and make stuff especially over the summer with um, the Jubilee coming up. We've got the Jubilee in the UK and there's going to be lots of parties and lots of fun. I'm not going to be partying I guess because I'll be recovering from my op but hopefully other people will sort out party and I can just sit there like this. Um, so yeah, anyway I will try and get up another video pre-op so next week so look out for that and I'll probably be putting up some more of these mini shorts videos so just check them out if you want to. I really appreciate it. Any sort of love on them, comments, likes or whatever Thank you, that would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Any questions, anything you want to chat about. I always love chatting to you guys. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you next week. Bye.